Got myself a uh, Duo Realis Pencil 85. Got my Shimano SLX, Shimano Terramar 6x6 rod. I've never caught anything on this lure in salt water, but in fresh water, like it's, uh, it's done pretty good for me. First cast, salt water. Let's see if we can get something to take it. Whoa, fish on. Whoa. It's a small trevally. I'm just thinking if I should uh, if I should uh, use this uh, light bait. I'm not sure. I think I could. Um, I got a another rod, heavier rod. Maybe I can use this for a group or something. I think I should be able to do that. I managed to bring the bait up to the fishing spot for groupers. Let's double check if the camera's on. Yeah, we're good. We are recording. Yeah, this is the grouper spot. Put it on a free spool. been out there for a while but uh, nothing to show for it so I'm just gonna uh, just put him back in the water I don't know if he will survive but if he does he does you know let's at least give him the chance all right buddy see ya So Duo Realis uh, 85mm pencil popper. It's more like a top water jerk bait in my opinion though. And it's also really good for walk the dog, but certain fish like that, but sometimes in the salt. I just prefer to use it like a uh, top water jerk bait. Get to get further down though to give it a proper action. Yeah, that should do it. Fish on top bottom anchor jack. Yep, there we go. Top water jack. <laughs> oh my god. And I do a realist uh, 
uh, pencil. Beautiful, beautiful strike. Wow. Let's get the hooks out and uh, get this beautiful buddy back in the water. Maybe I might take a picture with that. Awesome. <laughs> awesome, awesome. That's beautiful, beautiful fish. There you go, got the fish out. That's the fish. Oops, oh, okay, okay. Here we go. There he goes. <laughs> that made me so happy. I'll do a little fish. Anyway, let's see if we can catch uh, some more big ones. This is a weedless jig head, ball jig head with a uh, zoom soft plastic. For some reason, like when the fish haven't taken anything, I just cast this lure and they kind of tend to respond much better of all the lures, just in this part though. Fish on. That's a big one. Big one. Big one. Look. Okay, big one. Got him on free spool. Got him out of the rock. Yep, still there. Still there fighting. All my line is tangled up in the rocks. Yep, still there, decent size, not big. He's coming though. Yep, mangrove jack. Okay, nice mangrove jack. Barely hooked. Nice. Good size jack. That's a beautiful jack. Wow. Wow, that's a beautiful jack, guys. Beautiful fish. I'm gonna keep them and uh, see if we can catch uh, some more fish. He's a five pounder. I don't know if you can see him, there's less light. It's five pounds, nice jack. Yeah, 
This bit's the soft plastic. Hello! Okay. Here's the fish. Beautiful jack. Beautiful. Wow, it's been a while since I got a nice jack. That's a nice fish. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for coming. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like my channel, please uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. One of the great news is that uh, I did move to the West Coast from Bangalore. So I can go fishing anytime I want now. And it's only like 10 minutes from my uh, place to the beach. So that is that. So I hope to catch more fish now and uh, hopefully post more videos maybe even big baramundi but let's keep our fingers uh, crossed on that and another great news is that uh, uh, one of the pro anglers is going to be joining me uh, for quite some time on the west coast to go catch baramundi and jacks and groupers and whatnot uh, most of you guys know him but i'm not going to mention the name in this video you will uh, see him more in the upcoming videos so stay tuned and i will see you guys with uh, a lot more fishing videos. See ya.